good day everybody and welcome back to another Starfield video where today we're really going to be talking about patch 1.8.88 and how it has failed Bethesda what the hell have you done I mean come on like reddit's up in arms discord's up in arms you've broken more than you fixed guys if you if you believe that in the comments below let me know please um i um you're running it on pc game pass i run it on nvidia as well ever since the new patch i've had multiple multiple crashes whenever i try and do a quick save it's crashing all the time but anyway i want to get into a post that they've put up onto reddit um basically saying the following right everyone first of all we'd like to say that we read all feedback and we greatly appreciate it and all the time and thought that everybody else puts into the game well that feedback's on reddit and discord and all over the internet quite frankly and they've addressed that this small update that they've released that has fixed apparently pet asteroids but some people are still having that problem and they fixed a glitch as well with the weapon glitches now do you think Bethesda are concentrating too much on a single player game and fixing glitches that affects nobody but that single player? Or do you think they should be concentrating on making the game playable again? Fixing those quests, sorting out those mission bugs? Personally, I think it should be the latter. Let me know in the comments, guys. Second of all, they said they've been hard at work to fix many of the issues that everyone has posted and to everybody to expect an update early next year that will include a large number of in-progress quest fixes. So guys, if you are still playing and you are still having issues with certain missions, then you're going to have to wait till next year for them to fix them. I know the dev team is working hard over at Bethesda. However, guys, how is it that the modders can fix the game quicker than the devs can? Who wrote the damn game? Anyway. That's me again on my high horse. Right, moving on. Um, they fixed several quest issues from occurring, apparently. In-progress quest fixes are much harder to fix. And apparently, they've built a system to correct this without you having to roll back saves. Now, when there were issues previously, people were having to revert back to multiple saves. And that would mean people lose 24 hours, sometimes even 48 hours worth of gameplay. That's just not on. Anyway, okay, we move on. They are saying that they have uh, been looking uh, very hard and been very hard at work with new features that people have asked for and requested. From city maps to mod support. Um, now, on city maps, modders have already added that into the game. So are they just going to take that and add it in themselves? How is that going to compare? So on PC, I know everyone can use Nexus mods if they wish to, and maps for cities have already been uh, added through mod support. But mod support for Xbox doesn't come out until next year. So unfortunately, guys, you are going to have to wait for that one. Now, the next one has got me a little bit excited, maybe. Depends on how they execute it. But they are working on new ways of travel now planetary travel right now is horrendous if you you land nearly eight nine hundred meters away from a poi sometimes a point of interest that's just ridiculous you've got to walk and travel the planet like that with your boost pack even with boost pack skills to uh, full and no spoilers but even with some of the powers out there it still takes a while to get to your destination so what will those forms of travel be? Will they be uh, vehicles and rovers? Will they be animals that are put down? Now, every planet doesn't have an animal, so I can't see that being the case. Um, I personally see it being a case of being rovers that you could potentially store in your ship, maybe. Um, or if they release Star Station updates um, and uh, release you to have drop pods, for example then that would be quite cool, I think. Just releasing star stations and, and making those sort of things in-game would be amazing anyway. 
Right, so they're going to be rolling out a regular cadence of fixes and updates roughly every six weeks is what they're saying next year. So if something smaller can be done in a hotfix, something like the Asteroids, and they feel that it's safe for the game, well this one clearly wasn't, it broke it even more, they will get them rolled out even more. But they are stressing that safety is key. They take a lot of time to test even the smallest change in the game because a game this huge it does take a while to test and you can't test every aspect so of course they are relying on um, people in the steam beta for example which is what we've seen over the last few updates for people to actually report those issues and then for them to fix it guys let me know down in the comments below are you still enjoying starfield was it all hype I personally, I'm still enjoying it. I haven't completed the main quest yet or gone NG Plus yet. I am getting distracted a lot around um, going off and just doing random missions and going around the galaxy. Um, let me know in the comments, guys. Are, are you enjoying it still or have you given up? All right, it'd be good to get your guys' feedback on this. As always, guys, I want to say a huge, massive thank you for all the support on this channel that we've seen. So I started this back in uh, July and at last count when I'm recording this, it's going out on the Friday the 15th, I'm recording on the 14th of December, uh, I'm up to 260 subs. Guys, can we push it? Can we get it to 300 by the end of the year? That would be absolutely phenomenal. Alright guys, thank you very much for joining me on this journey and I hope you'll join me for more channel on, or more content on this channel as we explore as we survive, explore and conquer in this galaxy. Have a good day everybody.